Greetings, and thanks for joining me. In this video, we will be drawing an elephant. Longtime fan Carol has made this suggestion, so a big thank you to her. And don't forget, if you have any drawing requests, please leave a comment and I'll try and feature you. As usual, we start with several reference pictures of elephants. Elephants may never forget, but I have the memory of a goldfish. You can find links to references and the pictures I'm using in the description below. With the reference pictures found, let's move on to the basic sketch. The goal here is not accuracy, as you can tell, more to work out where everything is going to lie. The limbs, the trunk, basically everything. It's also wise to only draw this part very, very lightly, as we'll be going over it in a bit more heavily. If you're drawing along with me, it's important to realise that this part is not going to look fantastic. In fact, it might look, like in my case, like a two-year-old's drawing it. Much like in real life, you've just got to have a bit of faith that it'll all work out in the end. Also, keep in mind that not every piece needs to be perfect. As long as you're having fun and enjoying yourself, that's all that really matters. Now that everything is roughly sketched down, let's start adding some details and bring this elephant to life. Starting with the head, I draw some pentagons for the ears and then define the face and head in general, constantly referring to my reference as a guide. Next is a hose-like curve for the trunk. This should roughly fit into the box, but don't worry too much. Then add some very quick tusks and define the rest of the body. Now that I'm somewhat happy with the way the picture is going, I'm going to fade it out and start with the real sketch. This is also the reason why I always encourage everyone to draw lightly when you start your drawing. Whilst just sketching, you may discover you have your favourite lines, so let's focus on those and start getting it to look like a real elephant. The goal here is to cut down on the lines you don't like in favour of the ones that just feel like they work better. I define the legs a bit more at this point simply by drawing the hips and a slight bend to give it a sense of movement instead of the stiff rectangles. Adding a few extra squiggly lines will also add a bit of texture without needing to spend hours on painstakingly drawing each and every single wrinkle. And now for the line art. I'll be right back after I added this and the base colours. So now the line art has been finished, and it's turned out a slight bit mean. There are no real mistakes in this, so let's just say he's got a bit of attitude. He's a mighty elephant after all. For the base colours, I've went with a slightly dusty palette. I could have gone with grey, but I love the browns on my reference picture. I also chose to use two darker shades and one highlight to really bring out the shape and form of the elephant. The lighting is pretty much head on, so the legs in the background will be shaded along with most of the right hand edges. Highlights will be on the left hand edge just to give it the extra pop. When shading, keep in mind you're drawing 3D surfaces, so try and follow it round, or at least imagine so. Well here he is, the elephant. Hope you've enjoyed this drawing. Remember that you can leave a request at the bottom and I will try to feature you next time. I've been Phoenicorn for our Graphics Hub 
and I hope to see you in the next video.